Let's talk about um, the simplest kind of sequence that you can represent in XML, and I'll call that the peer sequence. So we'll talk about many different kinds of sequences, and this one I think is um, the easiest to understand, but it's also in itself a pretty powerful technique for organizing things in a sequence. The peer sequence means I have items right next to each other in sequence, in order, and we'll call that instance order. One is closer to the top in the instance, one is further down in the, in the instance. And that's a sequence. I put item A before item B, before item C, before item D, and, I, and now I have them in order. Hand order, right? I decided which one was first, I decided which one was second, and now they're all in that order. And I can make use of that order. Um, I can use, for example, the for each command. What does the for each command do if you don't put a sort on it? Right, XSL for each, the select. So let's say, looking at the, the picture on your screen, I have an XSL for each, and I say XSL for each whack whack item. What am I going to get back? I'm going to get back a list of items in instance order. Unless I chose under the XSL for each to use a sort command, in which case I'd get them in, in some other order. But I'm not using the sort command. The default sort, the default ordering for how topics come back to me is the order they are in the instance or in instance order. So that XML peer sequence is a natural. If I want something in a certain sequence, I put them in that sequence in the, in the instance, and then to get them out of the instance and to render them in that, in that order, I use a for each. And that for each will grab them in the order they are in the instance. And if I want the order to change, I just change the instance, and now my for each will pull them out in that direction. So a nice, simple, straightforward way of, of, doing, um, of doing sequences that is very low weight. And by the way, is it any or outie? Any. Right? Because the order of the items is inherent in the items themselves. There's no other thing that's pointing to the items and saying they go in this order. They literally are in that order. They're in that sequence order right in the instance. Okay, so that peer sequence, easily accessed with a for each that doesn't have a, um, that doesn't have a, a sort on it. Nice, simple sequence.